Girl, you know I love them fluffy booties, but I think you went a little too far in the in the booty fluff. A little too far. What's up? What's up, everybody? We're gonna take a look at uh, Orang. The light. It's not my account. I know. I stole someone's account. Oh my god! I stole. Thank you, Pal Spike, for letting us use your account. I stole his account basically so we could spotlight uh, Orang because he's got a pretty good Orang. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what he can do. He. Let's see what she can do. Uh, let's find. Let's find attack buffer. And let's find a defense breaker. Who do we have that's a defense breaker? How's the speed on these guys? 140. And the speed on... Why does he have a second Seek that he's building? Oh my god! He's gonna build a quadruple Seek team. I know it. I know it. And he's got 137. So defense break first and then uh, attack buff next. Okay, so let's see. Uh, and we have the attack buff. We have the attack buff leader skill. Uh, it's not cheating since she does have the attack buff leader skill by herself already. We're not, uh, we're not using a special different monster. Also, she gives this attack buff leader skill, uh, spoiler, she gives this attack buff leader skill to your Lucian too. So, uh, yeah, way to, way to make Lucian, uh, way stronger. Okay, so let's go over some of the skills, some of the skills that she's got. In a second. In a second. Hold on, in a second. We gotta dance first. We gotta dance. All right. So we're going to a we attack break. Let's bring this up to one, or down down to one rather. So we have attack buff, defense break, defense break on one. Okay. So let's take a look at her first skill. Uh, increased chances of landing uh, the enemy landing a glancing hit. Uh, second skill uh, inf uh, recovers the same amount of damage as HP. Which is nice. She could be. A, she, she's a single target monster. She's not the fastest farmer in the world, but she has a self sustain even without vampire runes. And then we have a sweet talk attacks the enemy, decreases their attack speed, attack power, and defense for two turns. What? Oh my god. Attack speed, attack power, and defense. Let's see how much damage it does. Let's see how much damage it does when she crits. We can do. Ooh, 68,000! That's not bad. That's not bad. 68,000 damage. Let's see if we can get another... Oh, we got the... Damn. Uh, can we can we get another uh, defense break? No. Alright. I'm just gonna have to kill him with Seek. Oh, that's a pretty decent 5-star Seek. Did uh, 25,000 damage. Alright, let's, uh, let's see the first skill. Just attack buff, no defense break. Crits for like 22,000 if you add them all up. And we have another we have a defense break there. Okay. And we don't have the buff. Of it. Oh, yes, we do. We, we do. So his seek is scaled up. Nice. And then let's see how much the, the soul snatcher does. Attack buff, defense break. 41,000 damage, pretty good damage, and she basically, that's a full heal, because that does, that's a heal for the same amount of damage th as you've done. Okay, so attack buff, no defense break, we do 35,000, 35,000, no defense break, that's a hard-hitting skill. Alright, so let's, uh, let's beat this bad boy. Oh, uh, you know what I should have done, uh, let me, let me do a defense break. Or not. Or, or no defense break. Okay. So, let's not do anything here. Let's see how much the first skill does with nothing. Okay, so we did like 6,000 damage. And now we're going to do defense break. Oh, come on. No defense break. Oh, my God. Alright, so we'll do a soul snatcher. 13,000. Oh, he's got... You know what? You know why it's 13,000? Because it's, um... Because he's got higher base defense. He's a boss. He's got higher base defense. Alright. No, it's glancing. Glancing, glancing. Fuck. Okay. Okay, okay. You know what? We can just... We can we can do this again. We can do this again. We can just see more... Some more damage. We can see some more damage. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll go... Um...
and hello hello to uh, Pow Spike and and Avlotis. So there. So hello to hello to them. Oh, and hello to the Koopa Troop Guild. And they actually, I guess they're looking for. I don't know if they're looking for new members, but I know they're not full. So maybe if you're looking for a guild, maybe the Koopa Troop. It's not a. It's not a high level guild. Uh, so, so maybe maybe it's maybe it's a good fit for you. I don't know. Let's uh, let's do let's do some gilding. I mean some some raiding. All right. So I was like, oh, we're the guy. No, we're not. We're not the one in the middle. Okay. So who do we have that we can use leader skills for? We can do that leader skill. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's not have her in front. How much? How much is Bella's HP? Hmm. Hmm. Who can we even put in front? Who? Ramagos? Uh, we can put Ramagos in front. I don't know. I don't know their uh, fail. I don't know their their thing that they're doing for for guilds for for guilds for uh, what you call it. Let's take her into. Why not? And is this even good? No, there's one healer. We're not gonna survive with one healer. Who else do we have that heals? We can take uh, we can take him, Tion. And then we can take. Or I guess this is this is level one though. I think we should be fine, right? This seems. Oh, it's it's level one. It's level one. Oh, you know what? Why do we have switch these? Why do we have those? Let's see how how high. Oof. Okay, maybe maybe Chloe. Maybe we'll take Chloe. Oh no, Konomiya. Why why did I not take Konomiya? Okay. Okay, we'll take Konomiya. And we'll take one. Well, why not take Chloe too? Okay. So leader skill. Everything else is good. We're not really gonna get any other leader skills for here. Let's do this. And they have. Amazing leader skills here. Oh my god. It's hard to find good leader skills for uh, for raids though. It is. You ready? Yes. So we'll check her out in a raid. Because she does have four of the five. The only... the Four of the five good debuffs for raids. Plus she does good single target damage. And she has a heal on her as well. So the only debuff that she does not have is the Disturb HP Recovery. We have that, oh my god, do we not have Disturb HP Recovery? It's raid level one anyway. So, I don't remember how much damage raid level one does and how fast it is or anything, so. <gasps> oh my god, that dragon is so scary. He's just as scary. He's just as scary. All right, and I'm sorry in advance because this is all right so we'll see if uh, we'll see how much damage we're doing I'm sorry oh I'm sorry because this is I can't do raids on my iPad my iPad's the only one that runs it well enough this one is so laggy and so choppy that uh, it's really but come to us refuses to admit that they have problems so. So right now we're in the lead, and our main damage dealer is, of course, Orang. There you go. So let's take a look at her runes. We have attack. Actually, let's let's take a look at her runes later. Let's just keep seeing more of her in action. We're dying. Why are we dying? Because we oh, because we had a Chloe. I didn't even check Chloe's runes, and we had who else did we have? I don't know, but we're dying, which is amazing. Oh, and we had, uh, we had Chloe and we had Konomiya. Alright. So, when I don't... It's not, it's not my team, so I don't know what does, who does, who does what kind of damage. We have the attack break on us, though. But we're doing, we're doing at least the most damage. We need to start doing those debuffs, come on. Come on, Orang, do those debuffs. Oh, she got, she gets stunned, of course. So it'd be nice to have Konomiya better for raids. This Konomiya died pretty fast, but Orang's sticking in there. Kind of. Okay. And oh, we're the only ones we're the only ones still alive. 
Fantastic. <laughs> well, this didn't work very well. All right, so well, she's okay. So she's the last one standing. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try that again. All right. So we'll try it again. We'll see how she. But she has a self heal. But I don't think she's gonna solo all three heads of the dragon, even in level one. <laughs> I don't think that one monster can solo, uh, except for. Uh, who 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 can do it? Um, what vampire? Ah, no! I know this! I know this! I know this! I wonder! I wonder who can solo level one? Yes! Oh my God! This is amazing! Amazing! Anytime you're ready! Anytime! Yes! Okay! So can Fire Monkey King can do level one? Can he? Can't solo? Uh, oh, be beautiful! Beautiful! Okay! So Fire Monkey King cannot. Uh, we get a Korea. At least he has raid monsters. See those monsters at least. Oh, never mind. He changed his mind. Okay. And now we now he doesn't have raid monsters. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it 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 is actually a pretty decent. I've seen people do raid four with uh a very similar team to this. Not not Orochi, but the other ones. But but yeah. Ooh yeah, but she should be on the back line. She should be in the back line. Yes, that's a good leader skill. I was thinking about building one of uh, one of those. That's actually a good uh y there you go, okay, a Korea. Very good. So he's actually he's thought about raids before. Okay. So we might uh, we might do good on this. We might do good. We might we might at least be able. Let's see uh, let's see some more some more damage. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, these all monsters do less damage in raids than uh, than in the rest of the game, though. So we don't get to see any amazing, big, gigantic, huge numbers. Damn. Occasionally, we see decent numbers, but. But nothing super crazy. She basically a rank with with runes like this can basically one shot anyone. So let's see. Uh, let's see what her multiplier on this third skill is. On the third skill, it looks like her multiplier is seven hundred and five percent. Yikes, that's big. That's that's what she said. All right, so we have attack, crit rate sub, HP, accuracy. We have crit damage, speed, defense, attack, attack, HP, crit rate, crit damage. The crit rate is actually pretty decent, so we have attack, crit rate. So some of these runes can even be better, but... Ooh, nice crit rate on that. We have speed, attack, accuracy, crit rate, speed. We see she's doing the most damage of our entire party. So let's see, uh, let's see how the other ones are doing. We should, I mean, with, with Orang and the leader skill with the, uh, the attack power, we should be doing the most damage. And then, uh, this A Korea guy is actually gonna be, re actually he's, uh, if Sophia was 6 star, she'd be doing a lot of damage too. But he's gonna have a couple debuff, D, D, B, B, D, B, 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 debuffs on, uh, on his team too. So... We're dying. We have... Don't we have four healers? Wait a second, we have Konomiya, we have Chloe. We have... Um... Bella. Man. Alright. Why, why are we dying? We're doing a lot of damage, but we're dying. No sustain needs more heal. Oh, now we have. Th okay, okay, because everyone else died. That's why. All right, all right. GG. Let's see the skill ups on her. Let's see the skill ups. Wow, I didn't realize raid level one was actually 
kind of kind of tricky. Okay, so let's see the skill ups. Uh, she's got here's her skill. Here's her stats, not her skills. Her stats accuracy could be better actually, because she's got four debuffs. The only debuff, like I said, the only debuff she doesn't have is the heal block. How was didn't we had Chloe in there, right? How was Chloe? How was Konomiya? Oh, Konomiya is so slow. So, so oh, that's why. All right. So, I mean, these aren't end-game high-level accounts. This Orang is, is ruined very well, though. For what she is. Alright, she's totally maxed. Totally maxed. So, yeah. So, we saw she could do pretty, uh, pretty good damage. Considering, I mean, yeah, it's, it's Garen Forest. But, considering, if you, if you have an Orang, you build an Orang, she's a really good single-target damage dealer. She was basically doing like a ridiculous amount of the ridiculous percentage of the amount of damage for the raid. So I think she's got some potential. Yeah. I think she does. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I just think, you know, Orang is a fusion monster. She's very easy to get from the fusion hexagram. Where are we with this? Fusion hexagram. So we got a... Maybe, maybe I should build another one. So we have Konami a two star. This is an easy... Actually, the only hard monster to get, to get a rang, is this, what is it, Hina? Is Hina the Wind Amazon? Because everything else is a scenario drop. This is a scenario drop, Perlia. Kali is a scenario drop, and then Konamiya is a Nat 2. So you can get Konamiya from... Well, you can, you can get Konamiya from Unknown Scrolls, basically. You get Perlia from here. Um, and then you get... Kali from here. There you go, right there. So actually pretty, as long as you have a Wind Amazon, she's actually pretty easy to get. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Pretty fun. I've been wanting to do a video on Orang for a while to show that she actually does some pretty decent damage. And she's got a heal that's equivalent to the amount of damage she, that, that she deals for the second skill, which is not bad. So, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and comment and subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you, as always, in the next video.